facility with the cutting of the ribbon. Thank you. Uh, it's great to be here uh, this morning and thanks to you all for coming. Uh, I'm absolutely delighted to officially open the, the American Express Elite Performance Center 2. This building hosts six women's and girls team from the under 12s all the way through the academy to the women's first team. And as well as that, it hosts um, Albion in the community, um, both offices and classrooms. And it's really great to see uh, in its, uh, it's been open just for a few months now. It's, it's been used so much by schools and, and many diverse sets of community groups around the county. The women's first team moved here in September of last year. And over the course of 2022, uh, as COVID restrictions allowed or ease, um, we allowed more different groups in, particularly from the community. Our football club have invested eight and a half million pounds into this facility, which really goes to show how much we as a club are uh, absolutely um, want women's and girls football to succeed. And we really want to give the women's and girls the best possible chance of success. I'd like to say a huge thank you to the Football Foundation for their significant contribution to, um, to this project. The opening of our facility is a pivotal, pivotal time for women's football in the UK, following the amazing success of the Lionesses winning the Euros this summer. I mean, that tournament really has raised the profile of women's football in this country. And we were delighted to host the Norway uh, national team here to train here in the weeks leading up to the tournament. This facility really reflects the commitment that we at Brighton um, have in the women's game. We are really proud to be playing our part in developing women's football and providing opportunities for girls and women to excel in the sport in this county. To do that, they absolutely needed the right facilities and these really are uh, world-class facilities up there with any of women's and girls facilities in the world. And the specs um, of a lot of the equipment in our facility are up there with the, uh, the same as, the, uh, as what the men's have across the road. I'd like to give a huge thank you to our friends and partners American Express who have been with us all the way. They've been a partner of ours for over 10 years now and they've been a big supporter of women's football and the club as a whole and, and we really, really appreciate it. And lastly, I'd like to um, say a big thank you to Martin Perry who has been with the club for a quarter of a century now. You know, he was uh, a leading role with Dick Knight in terms of um, back in the years, a long, long time ago, which some of you may remember, of, of allowing the club to exist, to, to get uh, the old owners out. And he's been a stalwart in, in so many ways, uh, from getting, obviously, the 10-year planning permission for the Amex, but also the planning permission um, for all the facility here, including the women's facility. And he's still uh, currently chair of Elvin in the community, which is doing a fabulous job. So thank you, Martin, and thank you to you all. And um, I hope you really enjoy it, and thanks for coming. <laughs>